Hi, in this video we'll learn how to graph the linear equations. Now there are a couple of ways to graph the linear equation, but in this video I'll show you how to use an xy table to graph our linear equation. My equation is y equals 2x plus 4, and this, in this equation, the good thing is this equation is already solved for y. In case if your equation is not solved for y, I would recommend you to solve that equation for y first. Well, it's not necessary to solve the equation for y, but it makes the problem really easy to solve it if you have the equation solved for y. Now, what I need to do is I need to graph this equation. To graph this equation, we need a few points uh, to graph it on the coordinate plane. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in few values for x. You can pick any values you want, but I always pick easy and small numbers for x. So I'm going to choose negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. So I got the x values. Now I'm going to plug in these x values into my equation and see what do I get for y. So let's start with x equals negative 2. So I'm going to plug in x equals negative 2 in this equation. So this equation will be y equals 2 times in place of x. We're going to plug in negative 2. So this is 2 times negative 2 plus 4. 2 times negative 2 is going to be negative 4, and negative 4 plus 4 is going to be 0. So I can say that when x is negative 2, y is equal to 0. This is the first value I got. Now I'm going to plug in x equals negative 1 and see what do I get for y. So let's plug in x equals negative 1. So this is going to be y equals 2 times, in place of x, I'm going to substitute negative 1. So this is going to be negative 1 plus 4. Make sure if you have a negative sign, you put that inside the parentheses so that you don't make any mistakes. Now this is going to be y equals 2 times negative 1 is going to be negative 2 plus 4. And negative 2 plus 4 is going to be positive 2. So I can say when x is negative 1, y is equal to positive 2. Now we're going to plug in x equals 0 in an equation and see what do we get for y. So let's solve this equation for y. I have y equals 2 times in place of x, I'm going to plug in 0. So if you substitute 0 here, this is going to be 2 times 0 plus 4. And 2 times 0 is 0, so this is gone. And 0 plus 4 is going to give me 4. So I can say when x is 0, y is equal to 4. So I'm going to write 4 here. Now we're going to plug in x equals 1 and see what do we get for y. So y is equal to, we're going to plug in x equals 1 in our, this equation. So this is going to be 2 times in place of x, I'm going to substitute 1 plus 4. And 2 times 1 is going to be 2. And 2 plus 4 is going to be 6. So I can say when x is equal to 1, y is equal to 6. Now we're going to plug in the last value. So when I substitute x equals 2 in my equation, let's see what do we get for y. y is equal to 2 times in place of x. We're going to substitute 2. So this becomes 2 times 2 plus 4. And 2 times 2 is 4. And 4 plus 4 is going to give me 8. So when I substitute x equals 2 in my equation, I got y equals 8. Now I got all my x and y values. These x and y values are the points on the coordinate plane. And remember that every point has an x and y coordinate. Each pair is an ordered pair on the coordinate plane. So I can say that the first point is negative 2, 0, then negative 1, 2, 0, 4, 1, 6, and 2, 8. And we can write this in the form of ordered pairs, negative 2, 0, negative 1, 2, and so on. So now let's go ahead and graph these points on the coordinate plane. So the first point is negative 2, 0. So negative 2, 0 is going to be this point because we have negative 2. The x value is negative 2 and the y coordinate is 0, so it's going to be this point, negative 2, 0. The next one is negative 1, 2. So negative 1, 2 is going to be this point. Then the next point is 0, 4. The x coordinate is 0, but the y coordinate is 4, so it's going to be this point. The next point is 1, 6. So x coordinate is 1, but the y coordinate is 6. And the next one is 2, 8. Well, I can't fit that on my graph. So 2, 8 is going to be somewhere around here, but I'm not graphing this point. Now we can just go ahead and draw a line passing through all these points, and we're going to get a straight line. So let's do that. And you can see that I've got a nice straight line. So that's how you graph the linear equation using an x and y table. That's all in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to this channel and want to see more videos on other math topics, be sure to subscribe down below and share it with your friends. See you in next video.